Well, it wouldn't be a Pop Top Adventures video without a bit of rain, would it? <laughs> so it would seem that that rain is coming this way. All of it. <laughs> Now then everybody, I hope you're all well. Uh, welcome back to another adventure. Uh, this is not the campsite that I'm staying at, but you will be familiar with this campsite. This is the Poplar's campsite in uh, Brillington. Um, now I'm staying just up the road at a campsite called Wold Farm, and I'm gonna take you there in a minute, but I thought I'd just pop in and see if my mum and dad uh, were in residence, uh, but they're not. I have brought Branston with me this time, so uh, those who miss Branston a lot um, will uh, appreciate this video. Um, but yeah, onwards to the campsite. Okay, see you bye. So I have arrived. Check-in is just back there, uh, their house basically, uh, just at the conservatory after knock on the door. Um, it did give me a bit of paper that uh, tells me about all of the things in the area, like the local pubs and food and telephone numbers, which is really handy. Also a little map on there as well, which tells you uh, if you go down that way, it takes you to the cliff top left to Bempton Cliffs and then right, takes you to Thornick Bay and um, out towards Flamber and stuff like that. I think today we're probably going to go to walk and go out that way, go right to Thornick Bay, but first we're going to get camped up and get all sorted. Later on in the video we'll do a campsite tour and I've also got um, a new gadget to show you um, that some of the subscribers of the channel have advised me to get and I can't wait for you to see that because I think it's going to be awesome. Don't think I'll be able to use it here, but you'll find out why I can't use it here. Um, when I do the campsite tour. Okay, see you bye. A couple of subscribers just came over to say hello, so thank you for coming over, it was really lovely. I hope you uh, got to see some puffins on your walk out to Bempton Cliffs today. This is a lovely site, I'll be honest, it's very, very basic, but uh, it's a lovely site nevertheless. So I've come down to the bottom side, and I think because it's been raining and there's sheep there and everything, there's a quite a lot of flies here. It's nothing to do with the farm it's, or the campsite, it's just nature doing its thing, you know, when it's been damp for a while, the flies come out. So I'm back up in the exact same spot that I chose earlier because there's way less flies up here and I've also not followed my own rule of thumb which is blocking the wind out with the van and the reason for that is that I had it this way and it was a little bit wonksville so uh, so yeah I, yeah I probably wouldn't mind after several beers tonight but right now it needs to be flat and straight and this is pretty flat now I get the awning coming out this side get the mat out let's get set up Naz. Nice.
So I'm all camped up and this is properly lush. It's probably one of the nicest spots I've ever had camping. Um, and I know it, it's always better because the sun's shining and stuff like that. In fact, it's super bright. There we go, that's better. Uh, yeah, it's always nicer because the sun's shining. But this is proper lovely, this. This is mint. I can see the sea, which is miles away, so I can't film it, I tried. Uh, but I can see it nevertheless. Um, we're kind of on a peninsula. I'll show you a bit of a map of where we're at. Uh, so there's like sea that way and sea that way, which is ace. And we're in Flamborough. It's not flat, it's not level. There's loads of level and flat spots further around down near the bottom and stuff. But So don't worry about uh, flat and level spots. I just wanted to come away from people. So A, I can have a bit of music on tonight. And B, I'm not disturbing anybody with my fire pit now. The wind's going that way. So I thought to myself, well, if I've got my music on, then it's going to carry that way. And there's nobody over there at all. It's ace. Um, the sun is shining. Everybody's a winner, baby. That's the truth. And yeah, let's get some dinner and the coffee on. The coffee. It is the coffee, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah. And then once we've eaten, we'll go for a wander along that cliff top because I can't wait to see it and I can't wait for you guys to see it either. <laughs> towards my island of solitude and I hope they don't come up here because this is my island <laughs> in the infamous words of camping with Steve doesn't get any better than this does it and it's almost time for a step two <laughs> if you know you know if you know you know First obstacle of the day is one of these. Now, Branston's pretty good at getting over stiles and through fences and stuff like that, but I don't think he's gonna get over that, you know. But we shall give it a go. <laughs> wasn't for want of trying um, but he ain't getting over that so what we're gonna have to do is find another way has this got a barbed wire on because the thing is if he's got barbed wire on it there's no way he's getting over it he might be able to jump over this fence let's give this a go Branston, come on Ooh. three two one go come on come So what is really kind of cool about this path uh, and or dangerous is you know you could be walking along the path and it's absolutely fine and you've got like a mound at the side of you there and it's all right and then all of a sudden there's just a big drop <laughs> so be careful keep your dog on lead as well because uh, sometimes it's not that obvious that there's a massive drop you know it could be a mound of grass and then underneath that grass is just a huge drop so 
So yeah, I think uh, for Branston's safety, we need to keep him on uh, on lead, definitely. So we got to a signpost and it's public footpath either way. Now that way we've got Bempton and everything, which is all cool. And we've already been there in a previous video. So I'll put a link in the description below to that one because Bempton's ace. And then this way, you've got the uh, you've got Thornick Bay or Thornwick Bay and um, the, the landing, the lighthouse, uh, Flamber as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a right from the path that I was on up towards Flamborough and see if I can find an open pub. I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult, should it, finding an open pub in a town and, uh, and go grab a beer. It's got all pretty all of a sudden. <laughs> Um, there's uh, a lot of construction going on at Thornwick Bay. There's a lot of new houses going up, which are here. But then they're also putting in new caravan spots as well at Thornwick. There's a kebab shop just back there, and a fish and chip shop here, and a pub called the Victoria. But I'm going to carry on a bit further on, um, see if I can find another pub. just sat in pub on my own chilling out you know having a bit of me time me and Bramston having a bit of man chat guess who turns up <sighs> my mum and dad hey, hey. <laughs> cheers all good things have to come to an end so now it's time to go back to the campsite and uh, I'm gonna walk back uh, mum and dad need to go sort their caravan out and stuff uh, so I'll see you guys back at the campsite big walk let's go only kidding I'm getting a lift home by my mum and dad nice <laughs> bless them they dropped me off all the way back to the van. <laughs> I said, just drop me off in the entrance. See you, bye. bye. Because I wasn't here to be a security guard for my island of solitude, um, two other vans have appeared. Not happy, not happy. Well, they're gonna have to listen to metal music, aren't they? So. <laughs> Tasty burgers, lovely. What is that noise? It's a uh, quad, it's the farmer. <laughs> nice. Let's take a bite. Mm. Wold Farm in Flamborough is a working farm and sits about 500 yards from gorgeous clifftop walks. It's about an hour's walk from the famous Bempton Cliffs and Puffins, and from the site you can get access for free without having to pay. It's also about a 45 minute walk into Flamborough Town Centre, which boasts several pubs, takeaways, and more importantly, fish and chip shops. Check-in was very simple. We were given a map of the area, a list of telephone numbers for local pubs and restaurants, and told to park anywhere in the campsite, providing we were on the parameter. This is probably to protect the grass, as it's rained a lot over the past few weeks. This site doesn't have shower blocks, so if you're planning to stay longer than a few days, you will either need to have a built-in shower in your van or make plans to shower elsewhere during your stay. The toilets are small, but clean and well-maintained. There is an Elson point for your port guff, a grey waste disposal and fresh water taps and fire buckets situated around the site. Outside the toilet block is an outdoor pot wash area under cover, which is a nice touch considering the weather we get in the UK. I did notice that a new toilet block has been built in the field, but there were signs saying that it wasn't in use, so sadly I can't show you inside this time. The most important thing for me is that not only are barbecues allowed, but fire pits are also allowed, providing they are raised off the ground, so a big tick from me. Most of the pitches are flat and have electric hookup, but the pitch I've chosen is a little wonky. Nothing that a few levelling ramps can't sort out though. It cost me £26 for a pitch with electric hookup midweek but the prices do vary depending on the time of year you visit. I really like this site. There's something about it I can't put my finger on. Maybe it's the sea air. I'll be back though. And if it had showers, it would tick all of my boxes and get the prestigious Yorkshire Pop Top Adventures double thumbs up. One that way. One that way. One that way. 
Oh, I think I've cracked it. Nice. What I need to show you now is the new accessory that I've got that all you subscribers, loads of you, told me about and now I've gonna got one. Although to be fair, because there are no showers here, it's pretty useless at this campsite. <laughs> and the uh, accessory I've got is one of these. It looks like a bottle top, like something you would put on top of a bottle of wine to keep it fresh. But it's not, what this does is this goes onto the back of one of those push button showers and um, it stops you having to push it all the time because it leaves it on. Genius, absolute genius. So the next time I use this, I'll let you know. And uh, and yeah, you need to go out and get one of these. These are amazing. It's doing rainings over there quite a lot. But I think that it's bypassed us because the sun's out over there, you can see it on my face. It's really, really nice. So hopefully it's gonna go that way and miss us. Well, it wouldn't be a Pop Top Adventures video without a bit of rain, would it? <laughs> so it would seem that that rain is coming this way all of it <laughs> so a couple of things I've had to move because um, the wind has changed and uh, the fire pit was straight into my face so I've moved um, another thing I can't put my beer down on the table because we're on such a slope that uh, it keeps falling off so <laughs> So as much as I absolutely love sitting here with a beer, watching the fire pit and the weather happen while I'm dry under my canopy and lovely and warm, it's made me realise that I actually love having a friend here with me as well so we can chat and put the world to rights after a couple of beers, obviously. And um, it's made me remember that I need to organise these little mini meetups that we're doing. So throughout the year, we're going to do a cycling meetup, we're going to do a hiking meetup, and we're going to do a photography meetup. And I think the first one is going to be a hiking meetup. I'm not sure how I'm going to go about it, but I'll let you know in a future video. We'll meet up on the Friday, have a couple of beers, chill out, and then the Saturday we'll go on a big walk, spend all day out walking, talking, you know, chewing the cud, and then we'll get back, get showers, and then sit around the fire pit, around the van, have a few beers, probably wake up with some thick heads in the morning, and uh, and that will be the meetup. So then that will be the same for cycling. I don't want to start the Friday getting absolutely smashed and then not enjoying my bike ride. I want to get smashed the next night. So yeah, I'll be announcing those. Um, well, I'll be announcing the first date soon. So keep an eye out for them. And uh, that sun is absolutely gorgeous. Have you seen that light? Oh, it's lovely. And the fields over there are looking absolutely scrumptious. Scrumptious, why did I use that word? They're looking amazing, vibrant, bright, gorgeous. I'm gonna show you now on B-roll. Mm. That's properly, properly nice. The sunset behind me is absolutely gorgeous. I think I've got some amazing photographs. Um, well, to me, anyway. <laughs> Again, it's subjective, is photography. What some people love, other people might hate. But yeah, I think I've got some great shots. I've also got some nice shots of the van. Yes. Right, I'm off. See you, bye. I'm sat chilling with my beer, and I'm looking around thinking, why is it so quiet? It's half past eight and not one person is outside their van. It's a really mild evening, it's lovely, it's pleasant, and not one person is outside their van. It's bizarre, really bizarre. Maybe I'm conditioned in the world of meetups and stuff, do you know where people, rain or shine, will sit outside their van with a fire pit. Maybe that's what's going around my head, but yeah. And again, you know, if you wanna sit in your van and chill out and play games or whatever, that's absolutely fine as well. You do in your van what makes you happy. And that's why we get them. I just, we're expecting more people to be sat outside and sort of mulling around. Not one, but it's like a car park. <laughs> Update, somebody is sat outside their van. They ain't got a fire pit. That's hardcore. Kudos to you guys. <laughs> Good morning. That was a lovely sleep, but it was cold last night. I think because I'd been sat next to the fire pit all night, super toasty warm, when I came away from it and came into the van, it was cold. So I decided to just go to bed in all of my clothes. 
get the hot water bottle going, sleeping bag and a fleece. But then the problem with this time of year is that when the sun comes up, which it did at about seven o'clock this morning, it heated the pop top up to oven levels. So I was properly, properly warm. I made a bobo. Um, I've come to the north landing, not the south landing. Uh, where the lighthouses are. So what I'm going to do is show you some b-roll of how that looks because it's absolutely stunning. We love it here. Um, the beach is really nice as well. Uh, but yeah, came to the wrong place. So I'm going to have to turn around, go back and go to the lighthouses. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye. Now I've found the right place. So I'm just going to paint display and then I shall show you both of these amazing lighthouses. If you're into lighthouses, I don't know. I think they're both amazing. Okay, see you bye. This is Flamborough Lighthouse and uh, this stops all the ships from crashing into the masses of rocks that are uh, underneath the uh, water that uh, ships can't see and it stops them crashing into the headland oh, it's lovely i like that it's nice i've got some really nice photographs of it um from ages ago with a sunset i came out this way uh, it was lovely if i can find them i'll pop one up because i really liked it but there's a lighthouse a little bit further inland that uh, is a lot older and I think they used to burn fires on the top of it. I'm not quite sure uh, to make the uh, the light work. But yeah, this is lovely. It looks even better in the sunshine, doesn't it? I love that. Looks proper lovely. Nice. So this behind me is the old lighthouse. And uh, I think what they used to do is light fires on the top of it. So then uh, people out to sea could see. That was before, obviously, technology, light bulbs, electric and things like that. Um, I'm not sure why it's so far inland, but... I'm sure I can put a bit of information up. I'll send you to a link that's got a bit more information. Don't come here for technicals. So I've been to see my mum and dad. It was lovely. Had a cup of coffee with them and a bit of a catch up. And um, I thought to myself, right, I'm going to have a drive into Brid, go to a fish and chip shop, grab some fish and chips, and then go to a nice viewing point to eat my fish and chips. Fish and chips, nice. Got it from Busy Bees. Oh, happy days. Right, I need to go find somewhere to go eat these. Nice. It's got fish, chips and curry sauce. If you don't get curry sauce with your fish and chips, you're a psychopath. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> oh, you know you want one. There you go. Not too many. Don't want any fat doggy, do we? Just going to sit here now and have my coffee. Uh, sit and stare at the sea for half an hour or so. Uh, and then I'm going to head off back. Thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome. Take care and I shall see you on the next adventure. See you, bye. Uh. Let's clean that lens. It's dirty, you know. No, you can do it proper top. Oh, I wouldn't even. Were I recording? I don't even know if we're recording. Why does it always happen to me? I think I might go back to the top of the hill and. Uh, and have a, a wonky night. <laughs> wonky, I said wonky. All right, yeah, chill. If anyone else arrives, I've got bird's eye view of them setting up their default. <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Doesn't matter what van you've got, you're still not parking in my island of solitude, so get parked down there somewhere. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Caught on there. Come on, my bud. Oh, sniff, sniff, sniff. You're ruining my YouTube shot. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Come. Do it again. Right, this way. Come on, bud. No sniffy sniffy. <laughs> it's definitely time to start setting up this fire pit. It'll take me 45 minutes to set it up. It's like Krypton Factor. Oh, I've left it on. Uh, I put his bed out so he could uh, go to sleep downstairs. And I found him there, chilling, just on there. <laughs> oh, he's having a crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're coming right next to me. No metal music tonight, I'm afraid.